done, everybody? Fiber Spider back again with another game just for you. Today, we're going to be taking a look at For Northwood. It is a solo trick-taking game, a lot of fun. And uh, so, yeah, it's one player. It's about 20-ish minutes. And at the back here. So, your objective in For Northwood is to peacefully unify our kingdom through conversations with other rulers. Over eight rounds, you must visit eight animal thieves and engage its rulers in dialogue or tricks. Use the right mix of confidence and deference, as well as our abilities, to win them over. With three difficulty levels and 24 rulers, 12 used per game, for Northwood is light tactical, and infinitely replayable. And it comes with 65 cards and a rule book, and it is adorable. Now, this cost me, with shipping, about $29, but I actually, I really like it. I think it's adorable. And as per usual, I am going to put a link in the description box down below. Not affiliated, not sponsored, no. But you know, if you you know want to find this, uh, I will put a link. So, by the way, the box very much like uh, a previous game that we had, which was uh, Grove. Um, I I love the construction of this. You know, just a little slide box, and we got our little cards inside. And we're not going to use all of them because there are a lot of rulers in here and we also have our deck and so this is our little pointer card as well as a scorecard we'll get into that in a bit and then here here we have the the thief cards and so we need to complete eight thieves in order to be successful now Technically, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to lay them all out in a row. However, I only have so much space, so we're going to make do with what we got. So I do more of a, a grid formation, if you will. So very basic layout. It doesn't take up a huge amount of space, which I like. And so on these various fiefs, we also need to place our rulers. Okay, now that, that's the Baron of Claws. So these cute little guys are going to help us um, on our little mission. And so we've got four jacks. These guys are going to be our allies. Now today I'm going to be playing on, you know, the, the sort of easy mode, if you will. Um, so we're going to have four jacks to help us out, and each one has an ability. We'll get into that later. And so I'm going to put these little guys over to the side for now. And then our various rulers that we're going to then put onto these little kingdoms. Again, I'm going to be playing the relatively easy mode. So we're going to stick with the, the kings and the queens and going to shuffle these up. There's also in here, I know I'm, I'm all over the place, I know, but in here also we have princes and barons and ladies and so on and so forth. These come into play if you want to pick a more difficult mode of play. I like to go easy. So I'm going to give these a quick shuffle shuffle. Also, I really like the cards. Some people have mixed reviews about them. They are uh, more plastic than paper, and I, I just, I like them. Okay, so going to play out these cards in the order in which they come out. Not entirely crucial at the moment, but we will get there. All 
Alrighty, and away we go. Okay, so now that we have our basic setup, well, it's set up, now we have our deck of cards. Now, the object of this game is to win conversations in each of these eight kingdoms. And as far as trick-taking goes, it did take me a little bit uh, to get used to the process. I'll walk you through it, don't worry. So basically, each of these different fiefs has a number at the bottom, and that determines how many tricks we need to uh, win. Actually, that's six, that's seven. Let's just swap these out, sorry. Um, and you don't want to win more or less than the number at the bottom of the card. You need to win that exact number in order to win that ruler. And when you do, they cry out for Northwood, and then you end up with the number of stars underneath there. And then after you win the particular fief, you can then use that card to your advantage. Now, these four that I have over here, I can use them uh, for each conversation, which is rather nice. Um, these you can only use once per game. After you use it, you lose it. Um, so we're gonna do a little shuffle shuffle and see what our first hand is gonna be like. And that will determine which thief I want to go to first because based on my cards, I will decide, you know, do I wanna go with, you know, the, the king of eyes over here or the queen of flowers? We'll get there. I know it seems very complex, but once you get the hang of the game, it, it goes really quick in spite of the fact that there are eight rounds. So going to deal out eight cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now, what do we have here? Okay, we've got a whole bunch of claws, so probably going to go with either the queen of claws or the king of claws. And so those two rulers, those cards the, the claws, those are the, the trump cards. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to go for broke, and I think that I'm going to go with the queen of claws, which means I need seven cards in order to win that conversation. And considering that I already have five, that's not bad. So we're going we're gonna to try that. We're going to see if I can do that right out of the gate. So going to put my marker on there, and we're going to try to get seven cards. Wish me luck. All right, so first card of the conversation, we got a seven of flowers. Now, I don't have any flowers. If I had a flower, I would have to play a flower, but as I don't, I could either play one of these three cards and basically discard it, or I can use any of these trump cards and win in this part of the conversation. Now I'm gonna play the, the one because regardless of the fact that it is a rather low card, it trumps the flowers. So, so far one out of seven ain't bad. Next. Ah, okay, so the eyes. I do have an eye, I've got the four, so that it's not a trump, but it still wins. Next. Ah, okay. So we do have an eight, so I can still win this one. So eight beats seven. Nice. And that is a two. I can beat that one with my seven. So I already have four out of the seven cards that I need. So that's actually really good. Next up. Uh, all right, so I do not have any flowers. However, I can play, again, another trump card. All right, so I just need two more. Fortunately, I have two more. 
All right, four beats the three. Okay, just need one more. Okay, and you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. The eight beats the six, so I'm gonna play this, and then I'm gonna utilize one of my little helpers here, and let me see. So I'm gonna play the, the Jack of Flowers. Discard all cards that match the current ruler's suit, which is claws. So I'm gonna play this by tapping it or moving it to the side there. And so I'm gonna discard this. And so we have our seven cards for the Queen of Claws, and we have one favor with her. Very nice. Kind of hard playing on the table here, but I'm making do. All right, so because we won the Queen of Claws, we scooch her down for Northwood. And we now have four victory points. Now, if I want to, in a later hand, I can use her and replace her over one of my four existing jacks. So, and her power is draw the top card from the deck, uh, the discard pile, and the score pile. Generally, I don't use them for their powers, but I can if I want to. And because this particular round is over, this conversation, he has been restored to his upright position. So that is how one of the eight hands works. And so the process is actually pretty easy once you get the hang of taking the tricks. And there is strategy involved, but there's also luck. There's a nice balance between luck and strategy. And I like those games best, I think. But actually, that was a really, really, really good first hand. Because it's hard getting the, the seven as well as the zero. Those are the hardest, and they are worth the most victory points. All right, so let's press on to round two. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? A little bit of everything. All right, so. I like organizing my stuffs. Okay, well, actually, you know, I think I might go with the, er, I might go with the King of Leaves. Now, I've got two leaf cards. I only need one trick in order to win the king. So let's try it. Oh, okay. Well, um... I have to play a leaf, and honestly, I think I'm going to lose this one because I only need one. So I think I'm gonna take the loss and discard my two because the eight, I can play at any time later on. So four, okay, again, I have to play a uh, a claw because we're playing with claws. Again, I want to lose that. So I'm going to play the two so that I lose that one. Seven. Okay, that's actually really good because I can instantly lose the four. Eight. Also really good. I can lose the seven. See, it's kind of the weird irony that with certain instances you want to lose as opposed to win, because we only want one card. Six, okay. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, that means I have to win this particular one because I've got a seven and an eight, which beats the six. So that being said, it really doesn't matter which one I go for. All right, let's do you. And then I think what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to discard, I'm gonna use the Jack of Flowers and I'm gonna discard all the cards that match the current ruler's suit. 
So discard my remaining leaf card. Now, I desperately, desperately, desperately need uh, perhaps a, a leaf card or a flower card so that I could get rid of these two because I don't want to get another card. So mm, keep your fingers crossed. Ooh, perfect. Okay, so I can get rid of the one. All right, moment of truth. Yes, perfect. Okay, because I don't have a four, I have to play this card and discard it, and boom, we have another win. Going to readjust him back to his sweet self, and we have won the King of Leaves for a total of three victory points. <laughs> so even though there are seven rounds, sorry, eight rounds uh, to the complete game, it goes pretty quickly. So we will see what our next hand is going to be like. And then based off of that, we will determine which thief we want to visit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what do we have to work with? Okay. Mm, got a bunch of leaves going on here. Okay. Well, hmm. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to go with the, the Queen of Leaves. I need four. So let's go with the Queen of Leaves. And I have four cards, so maybe we can do this. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. First things first. Okay. Well, since it's a flower card, we have one, and it beats the two, so... That one is a win right out of the gate. Next up, five. Okay, well, the only way that I can win that one is by playing the six. I only need two more already. Oh, this is good. Okay, so I do have an I card, and it is only a three, so that's a loss. I only need two more in order to win the thief, so. Oh, that doesn't go in my hand, that goes over here, sorry. Uh, this one I am gonna lose. So, you know what, I'm gonna lose the one. Mm -hmm. Five, okay, so the five, I don't have a flower card, so, and I need two more, I'm gonna play the three. I just need one more, one more. All right, so I keep I keep wanting to put the card into my hand. No, it goes over to this pile. Um, so the five, going to lose the, the one. Oh, this is good, this is good. Okay, so because I don't have any I cards, I can play my four, which gives me what I need, however, if I get a, the only way that I could lose this particular round is if I get a, a one or a two of claws, because then, then this one would win. So wish me luck. Ooh, perfect. Okay, because it's a flower, this one, it's not a flower and it's not a trump card. This one I get to discard and we have won the queen of leaves for Northwood. And I get one more victory point. Ooh. This is good. This is, we're off to a really good auspicious start, I'm delighted to say. And I didn't even have to use any of my jacks. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five more to go. Well, we're getting there. All right, let's see what's in store for us now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 
Okay, I see a bunch of leaf cards already. Okay, well, um, we already got both of our leaves taken care of. Um, because we got the queen and the king, so these leaves are not going to do me any good. Um, well, there's the queen of eyes. I only need three. You know what? I think I might go with the, the queen of eyes, actually. So put my marker up there, and we shall press our luck. Ah, okay. Well... I've got the two and the six. I, I'm going to play the six so that I can win that card. I need two more. I don't know. It's kind of risky. Eight. Okay, well, the six loses to the eight. The two loses to the four. That's no good. I need two more. Oh, dear. I mean, if I got a, a one or two of flowers, I could win that. Nope. <laughs> Afraid not. So that's a loss. Okay. And unfortunately, I don't match the, the suit of eyes, so that's no good. All right, let's go with the lowest first. Nope. This, this is, this is dangerous. Oh dear. All right. At this rate, I'm going to lose this particular fief. So I'm going to call upon the help of one of my jacks here. Now, let me see. Um, I'm going to do the, the Jack of Claws. If you're holding fewer than eight cards, draw cards until you have eight cards in your hand. So I'm going to play him and then draw seven more cards. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One more. Eight. Okay. Funny enough, not one of these is an I card. Okay. Now I just need two more successes, but not more than that. Okay, let's see what we got going on next. Hmm? Okay, that's an instant win. Because I only need two more, I'm going to take the highest card here. Okay, that's the five. Uh, going to take a loss. I'll play out the three. Eight. Okay, that is the trump card. I don't have any of those cards. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to go with taking a loss. Um... Either of the sevens really doesn't matter. I'm going to get rid of you. Okay, another trump card, which I do not have any. So I'm going to, again, get rid of something relatively high. Oh, what to pick. I'm Actually, I'm going to get rid of the six just in case, because I might need that seven. Next up, another trump. Ooh. Um, I'll get rid of the five. Okay. I don't have a trump card, but I do have a three, actually. That beats the one. So now, now I need to lose both of these cards in order to successfully get the queen of eyes. The one should not be difficult. The seven might be. I don't know. Okay, this is good. Because I don't have a, a claw card or a trump card, I can get rid of this seven. 
Perfect! Because the four is higher than the one, I lose the one. And we have our three cards for Northwood. Yay! All right. Another successful run. Kind of hard to pick these up sometimes. All right. Uh, get these. Okay, so I just have, what, four more to go? Making progress. All right, so we've got four more to go. Let's see what we can do. I need the, the zero, the two, the five, and the six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do we got? All right, I am doing dismally on flowers, unfortunately. Rather depressing, because I need the king and the queen of flowers if I'm going to get anywhere. Okay. Now, the king of eyes, I need no wins on that one. That one is going to be dangerous. Um... The King of Claws we could go with because I've got two. You know what? I think I'm going to go with that. I think I'm going to go with the King of Claws because I do have two trump cards right out of the gate. So let's go with the King of Claws. All right. First up, we have a win. Okay. That's kind of good, kind of not because I only need one more card. So I don't know. Oh, okay, uh, let's lose that one. We'll play the two. Okay. No matter what I do, I lose this one because the eight beats the two and the four. Let's lose the two. Okay, this one is an automatic win. So now... We have reached the number of cards that we need. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to play the Jack of Flowers again. I love this guy. He really helps because now I'm going to discard all the cards that match the current suit. So I'm going to get rid of my four and my six. And hopefully we will not end up with a one, two, or three of leaves. Because if I do, then these two will beat those so fingers crossed oops okay this is good because i don't have a match of the suit nor do i have a trump going to discard you perfect haha -ha. six beats the four da, 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 da. we've got our two cards we have won the king of claws for northwood very, very nice. Okay, three more to go. Three more to go. Getting there. Most assuredly getting there. Yeah, at first, like I said, I really didn't understand the whole trick-taking thing, but yeah, Trump's beat anything and everything. Otherwise, well, there's a little bit of finagling, depending upon what you have in your hand. But I got used to it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we have only two hearts. That's not great. Now, I do have this one eye card which is not bad. I, I need to win zero cards for the King of Eyes. You know what? I might do that. I might do that. Actually, mm, if I had a lot of eye cards, that would actually be better because then I could discard all of them utilizing the the Jack of Flowers. Um, do I think I could make a five with the with the flowers? You know what? I'm going to go for it. 
I'm gonna try. Let's go with the, the King of Flowers and give it a whirl. Okay, nope. Three loses to the six. Okay, well, the eight does beat the six. And the two does beat the one, so I just need three more. Let's see. Oh, well, that's a trump. So, you know what? I'm going to discard one of my lower cards. I'll get rid of the two. Ooh, okay. Five beats the four. That's good. Okay, I just need two more. Ooh, all right. Six beats the two. Okay, I, th you know what? This might happen. Okay, well, that does not help me at all. Oh dear. Uh, let's get rid of the three. Okay, now. Um, mm, I just need one more card. And I don't want to pick up another seven cards. So actually, you know what? I'm going to go for broke. Okay. I'm going to go for broke. And I'm going to play the, the Jack of Eyes. And with him, you draw two cards and then discard two cards. So that this is very, very chancy. Okay. I very well may lose this particular fief, but I, like I said, I don't feel like taking up another seven cards. So let's draw two cards. Ah, uh, they both stink. <laughs> Uh, that's not going to help me because they're both really low and they're not even trump cards. So we'll just discard these and pray that I end up with something less than six and of a claw card. So fingers crossed. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Because the six beats the four, we've got our five. And we can then proudly say, for Northwood. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, so I just got two more to go. Okay, so with two more to go, we need a six for the Queen of Flowers or a zero for the King of Eyes. Now, if I want to get a good score, I really need to get that King on my side because he's worth, I believe, four, yeah, four points. The, the queen, she's only worth three, but every little bit helps. So we'll see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Oof. Well, not fabulous either way, perfectly frank. Um, oops. Let's see what we can make of this. Uh, you know what? I think I think I'm going to go with the king, honestly. So let's do the king. I will immediately discard all of the cards that match the suit, maybe. I can only play him once. So let's discard you right out of the gate and hope that we end up with a lot of I cards so that I can lose these in a hurry. Because if I get a card, uh, a claw card, um, like almost any claw card, I might lose. So. Ooh, that was a lucky save. Oh, that's the this is the one card that could have saved me, and it did. Thank goodness for small favors. So let's get rid of the highest one there. Unfortunately, if I get just one claw card that is lower than the six, then it's fief over. All right. Eight. Oh, that's that's really good, actually, because that beats my six.
Okay, now I have I have the option. Okay, I have the option. I can play the the two, which is beaten by the seven. Um, uh, I, I I need some I cards to be played. Seriously. Ooh, perfect. Okay, because that is the trump card, I can then get rid of the eight, so I don't have to worry about him. Again, another trump card. Perfect. I'll get rid of the six. Ooh. Okay, since I don't have a trump card and I don't have any hearts, I'll get rid of the five. Woohoo! Awesome! We did it! That was a lot easier than I thought it would be, but it was still stressful. But hey, for Northwood, we did it. Okay, rock on. Uh, so I just need one more. I need the, the Queen of Flowers. Set you back up right there. This is exciting. Now, if, if I'm making any mistakes during gameplay, do forgive me. I'm still relatively new, and any mistakes that I make are inadvertent, of course. Okay, let's see what we got. We need the six for the flower. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, a four and a five, that's something. Um, not great, but we will work with what we have. Okay. Actually, do I want to use any of my peoples that I won. Um, well, the King of Eyes, name any suit, draw two cards, then discard all the cards of the suit, of that suit in your hand. Uh, King of Leaves, look at the top of the card in your deck, exchange it with a card in your hand. No. Not really seeing anything I, I want to make use of. You know, let's just play as is. Let's just let's just dive in, shall we? Okay, eight beats the six, the only one I have, so that's no good. Well, I don't have any other leaves, so I can play one of my trump cards. I'm gonna play my four. Again, I don't have any leaves, but I can play my five. Just need four more. Okay, no flowers, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to lose one. Let's get rid of you, You're my lowest little guy there. Okay, don't have any leaves, so I'm gonna have to get rid of one of you. Let's get rid of just a four. Oh, oh, no, that's no good, because the six is beaten by the eight, so bye-bye. All right. Not looking hopeful. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to do the draw two cards and discard two cards, I think. Let's do that, because I might end up with some flower cards. Nope. Nope. All right, well, that being said, let's discard the two of the lower cards just for argument's sake. Oh, I keep wanting to put that in my hand. All right, so I don't have any of the flower cards, so I'm gonna have to get rid of one of these, sad but true. All right, so I lose you. All right, now I'm going to Let's see, gonna play the Jack of Claws. If you're holding fewer, yeah, I'm, I'm shifting him over to the side there. Uh, I'm gonna play him. So yeah, if I'm holding fewer than eight cards, well, draw back up to eight. So two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. All right, now I have a fighting chance. All right. Okay, so I just need, what, four more? Oh, I've got a chance. Not a great chance, but I do have a chance. Okay, so I can play any of these, really. You know what, I'm going to play my six to beat the five. Five beats the two. Just need two more, my goodness. Okay, I can trumpet with any of these, quite frankly. Uh, I'm gonna play the two. I just need one more, one more. Okay, this is, actually this is not good. This is not good. Um, you know, what? I'm going to play the eight. Okay, so that being said, I'm going to discard all the cards that match the current ruler suit. I'm going to play the, the Jack of Flowers, and I'm going to get rid of these two. So I don't want either of these cards to win for me. Fingers crossed. Ooh, that's good. That's actually very good because Trump beats any of these. I'm going to get rid of my seven. Ooh. Perfect. Doesn't match. We lose the card. And for Northwood. <laughs> all right. And because we have, we've, we've won over all of the eight thieves, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 points in total, which means, da, 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 I got the gold cup. We've won. Yes, we have won in its entirety. I am delighted how well this worked out. Much better than some of my other personal playthroughs. But yes, we won all of the Eight Kingdoms. This is such a charming game. I really, really like it. And oh, I certainly hope that you guys enjoyed watching me play. I, I understand that the layout, I don't have like an aerial camera, uh, which would make seeing everything a lot easier. But hopefully this will give you an idea of how the game is played. And I think it's positively charming because the, the blending of the the, the skill and strategy versus the, the luck and how you're playing against the deck to make your tricks and how it's not just one size fits all. It's like, no, you either need no wins or a lot of wins or a few wins and how you can utilize the, the different effects of your little allies to help you out. I think it's absolutely charming. So let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Also, again, I'm going to pull out a link in the description where you can find the game. I would totally recommend it. I think it's absolutely charming, and I'm going to be playing this for some time to come. So you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay playing fun, fabulous games, either by yourself or with somebody you love, and take care of yourselves. I will see you in the next one, and you have a great day. Bye for now.